All right, welcome back, uh, guys. This is going to be part four of um, the the bank simulator video. Um, so we are currently um, working on the opening uh, of the file, like opening of a um, account. Um, so to carry on from here, we want to um, go back two lines, and this here is going to um, append the file information um, of when the account was created or the, the the account saying that the account was created with such and such amount of money because obviously they store history in a bank account. So we're going to go file underscore information um, dot append uh, you want to go uh, account opened. Um, we want to go like that. And then we want to go dollar sign and we want to go plus um, file information and two. Obviously, if you watched my um, appending to lists video, you'll know why that's two and not uh, three. Because obviously, this is going to be a, that's going to be a third value in the list um, because we got. The ID number, the name, and then the phone number. Oh, then the amount of money. Sorry. All right. So we then want to make current information equal to file information, and so that's going to change over the um, account information to here. Uh, we can actually get rid of that. And I've just remembered that this here is called list comprehension. Um, yeah. <laughs> I had a bit of a dumb moment. Um, okay, so we want to go save underscore name equals open save path. So that's grabbing this path here, so it's going to go into the folder. Um, save path. Uh, what's next? Uh, yeah, right plus string of um, file information zero because that's going to take the file number and we're going to plus ooh, dot ooh, dot txt and then we want to go right so it's going to create a file in that uh, directory with that name and it's going to be a text file so we're going to be able to open them and check them at the end of the um, at the end of the video or yeah, later on all right so now we want to go for i in um, range actually we could just go for i in um, file information um, that should work I think um, save name dot write and we go string file information I Ooh, I uh, plus in so it's going to split the line um, yeah so it's going to split down to the next line now for this we can pretty much copy I think um, this is going to um, yeah so we just do that and then we want to go um, current files underscore Sorry, underscore. Um, we want to change that to save path. No, that, yeah, that should be information path. Uh, information file. Information file. And so that's going to write to. Um, that's going to write. You know, that's supposed to be files.txt, sorry. 
files. .txt. Right, so that's going to write to that file um, the information. And we're going to append to file names dot append um, file information file information zero. So that's going to append the file name, which is obviously the ID number to file names, and then it's going to write file names into current file. Um, we don't want to write that, we want to write file names. We also want to go, uh, this is going to be equal to file names. Yep. Right. So that should now, ooh, we don't need that. There we go. All right. Now for the last part of this, uh, this uh, function, we need to um, write to the bank ID. So we're going to have to do similar again, except this one isn't quite as complex. So we're going to grab this one again, copy it, we paste it, and then we're gonna uh, change that to id file, id underscore file. I'm gonna open um, not that file. <laughs> I'm gonna open um, it's called bank id dot txt, and that's also an information file. Um, and we're just gonna write to that the new um, ID file and we're going to write to that uh, the new ID so ID number and we don't need the plus in on there we just need to write ID number right so that will overwrite what is stored in the um, the bank ID file, so there's a new number in there, so 11111 is now 11112, or 11113, 11114, etc. Um, and so it'll never be the same as the user before it. So that's going to uh, take it for this video. Um, in the next video we'll be doing uh, probably a save function and maybe deposit and withdraw I'm not sure um, but yeah stay tuned for those videos and I hope to see you watching them see you